come up with a harder limit example that kind of throws together a lot of things that we've been talking about. So let's start where we always start. I plug in zero and see what happens. If I plug in zero, well, I'll get zero on the bottom for h. On the top, I'll get one over square root of nine minus a third. Square root of nine is three. So I get a third minus a third is zero on the top, zero on the bottom. You know what that means. We have to do algebra. But this is tricky because, hope it's all right with you, I'm gonna write one over h as all over h. I see a square root and I see two fractions. So are we gonna multiply by the conjugate or are we gonna get a common denominator? And the answer is we're gonna get a common denominator first. So I get common denominators by cross multiplying. So three times one is three, minus sign in the middle, one times square root of nine plus h is square root of nine plus h, and I multiply the denominators together. On the bottom, I still have h. Remember that's all over h. And if you wanna be tricky, you could think of this as h over one and flip and multiply, but if you're getting good at your fractions, like you should by now, you'll know that I can just put that h right there. Now let's multiply by the conjugate. So we're gonna multiply by three plus square root of nine plus h over three plus square root of nine plus h. On the top, I'm just gonna get three times three is nine, minus times a plus is a minus, and square root of nine plus h times square root of nine plus h is nine plus h. On the bottom, this is all just gonna get mashed together three times square root of nine plus h times h times this whole quantity, three plus square root of nine plus h. Sorry, we're getting messy. But on the top, I get nine minus nine cancels. And I get a minus h on top. I'm just gonna leave everything alone on the bottom. I think this video is over two minutes, but I'm sure you don't mind. And now that this H is being multiplied by everything, I can cancel it on top. And I get a minus one, three square root of nine plus H times three plus square root of nine plus H. And when I cancel that H in the bottom, I can plug in my limit. I can evaluate it H equals zero. So if I plug in zero for H here, Let's see, I'm gonna get square root of nine is three. Three times three is nine. This will be three plus, if I plug in zero for h, I'll get square root of nine is three. It looks like we're gonna get minus one over nine times six. Nine times six is 54. I hope that's right. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me.